So, so far, Stan is obviously, at least in the season premiere, coming mm -hmm. into play a little bit more. Yeah. Is that a thread throughout season three where we'll actually see Ellie be a mom with maybe a glass of wine in one hand and the baby in the other? Well, that's the one thing where we part the ways because I parent in quite a different way than um, Ellie does. She makes, in this, particularly we just did an episode a couple weeks ago, and I just made really bad choices. Um, and he's, Stan is really a hooligan. He's a monster. He's also, when I come home and tell my husband of the horrible moms at preschool, they're horrible monster brats. That's uh, some mm -hmm. of the things that Stan does and the parents that think it's funny. Um, I had one parent tell me one time, we were somewhere and there, he had a little girl such a bitch and he, he said, <laughs> She's such a bitch. It's so funny. I was like, it's not funny at all. I didn't say that. Of course, I had to tell Bill. I like, I'd never want to see that kid. I hate that kid. I don't want to see that kid. Why is it funny if your kid's a bitch? Anyway. So Stan is a little bitch is what you're saying? Or? I prefer to say hooligan. Okay. okay. We, have one, we have one. Our little one is a teeny bit rascally, although he's had a big turnaround this year. Um, but he's very fun. He's funnier more than monsterish. Okay. But he's a little bit of a hooligan because he's the third, so he's the loudest sure. child in the room. But he's very cute. Mm -hmm. Are we going to see a showdown between Ellie and Baby Stan? I mean, it sounds like he's getting to be a little bit assertive and he might be challenging things. More of a showdown maybe between um, Jules and Ellie. Because mm -hmm. Jules has maybe had enough mm -hmm. with Baby Stan. And I want Baby Stan t um, to do something for a party for Jules, and she doesn't want so you'll see. So she gets not, she's not happy with me. I was curious, like um, like they were saying before, that you've kind of filmed almost this whole season without knowing when exactly you would be on. Now, obviously, you know when you're going to be on. What's the feeling like on set as uh, premiere date is actually right around the corner? I think it's exciting, but I also, you know, you really get a vibe on set. And, like, you know when you're shooting something that it's, if it's not good. And you know, and we feel this season has been so funny. You you can tell on, on set we'll be laughing and the crew's laughing. And even though we haven't been on, we're not getting the feeling that it's not that it wasn't going to be on, that it wasn't a great show. And I see all the shows because doing the music and they're great. It's this season's better than last season, you know, which you would hope in a third season. Everyone knows their characters, etc. And I think now that it's on, it just is the feeling of excitement that we've done these funny shows and, and we get to put them on. Because, you know, the screener, screening parties that we've had, you can see people's reaction. Um, I just, for the first time, watched the other people, the fans watch the shows. And just the big laughs and the applause at the end and cheering for different, you know, it was, I, I, I had never experienced that, so it was really touching and also felt exciting for the show to come on because because you think am i the only person that thinks that this is really funny <laughs> but i the, i don't know if you've have you guys seen any episodes yeah. did you yeah. like them oh, yes. God, yes thank That's, you because so i'm good. laughing at them you know what happened so embarrassing on saturday night so we're watching i'm sitting next to josh and i hadn't seen one for such a long time because i put the music into one of the shows in august and I did. I said a joke and laughed at my own self. And Josh Hopkins said, "Are you laughing at your own self? That's so embarrassing for you to laugh at your own self." So I couldn't help it because I watch it like I just got sucked into the whole thing of it. How thrilled are you the fact that you guys are coming back on Valentine's Day with your most romantic episode perhaps to date? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Do people? Stay, ever stay in on Valentine's Day? I'm hoping that they will and watch the show because it is romantic. And I got chills at the end of that show. How good is the song at the end of that oh, show? Yes, Did you love that bad. song? Yeah. I mean, yeah. come on. It all works. The end. I love the end of that show. I mean, you've kind of made it an event for Valentine's, and it's yeah, Valentine exactly. to your front fans that have stuck with the show. So it's kind of quite beautiful. <laughs> it is. And you know what's really cute is I have a lot of friends. You can tell when your friends, if you're making them watch a show, or they, I have so many friends that have emailed me to say, are you going to have people over to watch this show? Like, what, what's happening? Which, you know, I just haven't, I didn't think anyone would make, and people are excited because the show's been off. So it maybe it's not so bad that we're a mid-season. I mean, Scrubs, that would happen with Scrubs, and people were really excited for it to come on. And um, 
uh, had gotten you know excited to have a fun comedy on mid-season. Um, I don't know if it's such a bad idea. My friends are all very excited for the show to come back on.